Well, there was lots of different times. I mean, <laughs> lots of strange times where he used to fall asleep with his eyes open, you know, because I used to share a hotel room with him and we were touring the States and all that. And uh, many of the time I thought he's conked out in his bed, you know, with his eyes open, going, let me wake up, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and his eyes would be wide open. Uh, what, 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 what? You know? <laughs> Come on, we've got to leave. We've got to catch a plane. All oh, right, I'll be down in a minute. And I'd go downstairs, have me breakfast, and all the band would be waiting, you know. I said, well, I've woken him up. He'd be down in a minute. You know, well, send up one of our tour managers, go and get him, you know, and then we'd be crashed out again. Of course, you know, the time would be getting... Everybody would be getting agitated because we are going to miss the flight, and eventually got it together to come down, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, in Cleveland, two different lots of hippies spiked us with angel dust, the whole band. And we went on stage, you know, what's this? Oh, I heard it and it makes a noise good, <laughs> you know, like... And uh, apparently the gigs were all right, you know. We spiked all the food and drink in the roundhouse once. Everybody was, like, doing the same twitch. It was really odd, 600 people going... You know, you see that, you know you made an impression. We used to lock the door so people couldn't get out. And we had five strobes on the crowd at eye level, not on us. We were in the dark, just, you know, and these strobes were at the low blink, which is the dangerous one. They, they, this is how clever the English are with technology. They passed a law that you couldn't have it over a certain amount of blinks, but it's the low one that fucks you up, you know. We used to give people epileptic fits, and didn't it come across with the tambourine, you know? The blonde one, you know, and go back, and the guy, down the guy would go. We were very irresponsible, you know. But then you are, aren't you? You know, when you can get away with it. Yeah, it was very innocent, really. Because, you see, we didn't know everybody was going to die. Yes. You know, because nobody had really died then, and there were a lot of junkies around, but they weren't really our scene. We were doing acid and smoking dope mostly, you know, and like that was it. Well, Lemmy always had this amazing mental list of who would be awake at any given time in the day. Because when he didn't sleep for four or five days at a stretch, it was very hard to find places to go at, particularly at four o'clock in the morning, you know. So the bell would ring, you go, that's Lem, you know, and if I wasn't actually in bed or otherwise occupied, you know, let him in. He'd come in, you know, look in the fridge, make himself a sandwich, hand me a beer out of his jacket, and away it'd go, you know. I remember even at the time when I was reading stories of, of them on the 